Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your site with Google and add Google Analytics, plus add the tracking code to Elementor. If you find these useful, please check out my full online courses about web design, video production and video editing in the links below. Let's go. The first thing you want to do is do a search for Google Search Console. And then we can click on the first one. And press start now. Once you're inside the search console, click up here on this little arrow. Add a property. I prefer to use this one. I use domain, paste in the web address, remove the HTTPS and the forward slash, press continue. And it's now going to generate a bit of code for us. So it's this bit of code here that we need. Copy that. Log into your cPanel. Then you want to look for Zone Editor. You can either find it in here or you can type in Zone up here to find it quickly. Press Zone Editor and then just check that that's your domain name. Go to Manage. Press Add Record. Set the type to Text. Paste in the value here from Google. And then you just want to make sure that you've got your domain name from here. So copy that and paste that in here. Press add record. All right, so you should see it's saved. I now go back to verify domain. Press verify. And there you go, it's done. Next, I'm going to open Google Analytics. Okay, and we want to click on this one here. This will open all my analytics properties. To add a new one, go to admin. I've already got uh, an account created. If you haven't got one, create one here. And then what I want to do next is create a property. Press create property. And then we're going to give it a name, which is normally the website name. So add a new website name. Press next. Fill in the details to your business. Press create. You can choose a platform. I'm going to go for web because it's a website. And this is where we enter in your URL. Make sure you take the HTTPS out of there and the backslash out of there. Make sure if you are using HTTPS that is selected and give the stream a name. Again, I'm going to use my website name. Press create stream. And what we're looking for now is the gtag.js. We're going to copy this. I'm going to log into the back end of the website, go to Elementor, and we're looking for custom code. Add new custom code. And then we're going to make sure that head is selected. Paste in our code. And what I'm going to do for the title is call it Google Analytics. And press publish. And we want to make sure that it's set to entire site, save and close. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one.